Is this real life right now? Is this a real life Sharkano? How's it going YouTube? I'm Landon. Let's talk about the news. Well, just when you thought you heard it all, I'm about to talk about sharks that were discovered inside an underwater volcano. Ocean engineer Brennan Phillips led a team to a remote Solomon Island in research for a hydrothermal activity. The team was able to find a lot of activity near the Solomon Island, which is located near a volcano. The volcano was Cavici and they were able to get camera footage in the volcano and they were actually able to capture footage of hammerhead sharks who seemed to be unaffected by the hostile temperatures and acidity of the water. So the footage was released to the National Geographic. In the article, ocean engineer Brennan said, you never know what you're going to find, especially when you're working deep underwater. The deeper you go, the stranger it gets. Well, I'm not sure how much stranger it can get than sharks being able to survive in a volcano, but let's move on. So just letting you guys know, my buddy has done it. He started up his own YouTube channel. Click right over here if you guys want to check it out. It's called The History Of. It's his attempt at being funny. His first few videos are actually pretty good. His videos have been getting thousands of views, so if you want to check it out, if you want to support him, like he's been supporting me, supporting us over the years, go check him out. This guy's been working for me for a very, very long time. It's so cool people around me like starting up their own businesses and YouTube channel. Okay, enough of all that. I have a ton of stories for you guys there has been a cancer breakthrough a revolutionary new drug that is twice as effective for patients with lung breast and prostate tumors these new drugs can extend someone's lifespan by more than a year which is a huge breakthrough Zytiga is a new drug being used and it was tested on patients with prostate cancers and it actually improved survival by 18 months when used on the patients with lung cancer it stopped growth for 15 months for breast cancer it was able to delay the spread of cancer by seven months who knows where technology and science is going to take us next? Moving on, let's talk about 14 year old Ella Tomlinson, who has developed a severe curvature of the spine. As she got older, this is what happened to her spine. It started to just twist really badly. Well, Ella's parents was able to raise 140,000 euros for her to have groundbreaking surgery to try to fix her spine. Ella underwent pioneering operation called vertebral body tethering, or VBT for short. A piece of nylon rope was inserted into her body to try to keep her spine straight. Screws were then inserted into each section of her spine to help produce the correct tension on the rope and to fix her spine to keep it straight. This is just so amazing. Here is her back before and then here's the after picture right over here. Incredible. I have more technology for you guys. We have a self-driving robotic pod being called Cargo. This has been tested in the UK and it's a robot that will automatically deliver packages to your front door. Cargo will drive on unmarked roads and pavements in residential areas. A prototype of the vehicle is already being tested right now. This could be the future of packages. It's either that or drones. Or maybe this thing can also fly. Also with technology, Apple has released their first speaker system. They are calling it the HomePod speaker system. This will be a Siri controlled speaker, so all you have to say is Siri, play music. And it will play. So it's supposed to be released in December of this year. I think it looks cool. It's a round speaker. It's a 360 degree speaker, uh, which means you can hear music all around it. And it doesn't seem too costly at $349, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to give up my Bose system because that thing is just a beast. Some quick NBA news for you guys. Tonight, Cleveland is playing Golden State Warriors. The Warriors are still unbeaten in this playoff run. They are currently 14-0, just two wins away from perfection and winning their second title in three years. This is the highest NBA Finals rating since Michael Jordan's Finals game back in 1998. Everyone has been tuning in to see if King James, if LeBron James can beat the best team in NBA history. So watch out for that game tonight. Also, NBA star Chris Bosh has just been medically not cleared to ever play again in the NBA. This is huge news. This came to a shock to many people, including myself. His career has just come to an end due to health reasons. Chris Bosh has been battling with blood clots, and doctors have ruled he's just had way too many, and if he keeps playing, it will kill him. Really sad news for him, but I really hope he can find something else that he is passionate about. Moving on, War for the Planet of the Apes. New trailer has just come out. Here's a bit of it. So many living creatures have feelings. No loss suffer pain. We must understand the mutual dependence between humans and animals. Only if we understand can we care. That movie comes out July 14th. I won't be able to watch it right away because that's when I leave for my honeymoon. Unless I want to watch it in like Italian or something. But I probably won't enjoy it. I don't know what's going on. And it's so crazy to think that I'm getting married in four weeks. Okay, so last night I was finally able to see Wonder Woman and it was actually a really good movie. Let me know if you guys watched it. What do you guys think of it? I'll play you guys a quick trailer. Is there anything else? 
else you want to show me? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a whole lot to me, and I'll see you guys all in my next video.